how do we pray in ways that move the world? The Israelites, that's God's chosen people in the Old Testament, fled captivity in Egypt, led by Moses. When they finally come to the promised land, Moses sees it in the distance and dies. He hands leadership over to Joshua and Joshua takes the nation into the places that God promised they'd inherit. But it doesn't end there. In those places, they're attacked on all sides by enemies and constantly oppressed. But they become a mighty army and reaching the city of Gibeon, described as like a royal city. Gibeon sees how powerful Israel has become and decides to ask for a peace treaty. Joshua grants them it. And in even more, he invites them into community with the Israelites. But hearing about this, Five kings, known as the Amorites, decide to join forces and attack Gibeon, thinking it's vulnerable. The Gibeonites, terrified, send word to Joshua, who's camped at Gilgal. Help us, save us, you promised to save us. Joshua, true to his word, brings all the armies and his best fighters, marches them all night to attack the Amorites. But the day starts to end. And with the battle not fully finished, the Amorites are fleeing. And Joshua cries out to God, don't let the day end. Let the sun stand still. Let the moon stop. And it's written, the sun stood still over Gibeon. And the moon stopped over the valley till the nation had won over its enemies. How do we pray in ways that move the world? In ways that move it on its axis? Whether you've been praying since Sunday school or whether you've never prayed before, whether you've forgotten how to pray or whether you want your prayer life reigniting, we invite you into conversation about prayer in this series. We'll begin by opening up how to talk to God. Then we'll look at how our identities can be transformed by encounter with him. Then we'll look at how to renew our passion by strategic and specific and, and planned prayer. We'll then focus on what it's like when God speaks and when he's silent. And then we'll bring all this together by looking at how our prayer lives can go beyond ourselves to see our community and our society flourish. As Stephen Furtick puts it, God desires the sun to stand still over the life of every believer but we just have to have the boldness to ask.